What is up guys, it's Alex here from Tech Labs and in that video I'm gonna be showing you guys what do I exactly got on my iPhone. So this is gonna be just a little simple trip across my iPhone. Which case do I use, which protection do I use, which apps do I use and everything about my iPhone. So guys, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So first of all, let's make everything clear. The device that you see right now on the right is now my daily driver here. This is only for YouTube videos and some sports activities. And you know, this is an iPhone 5, so I don't regret losing it or damaging it. So it's gonna be really cheap to repair and you know, all that stuff. But here is my daily driver. So this one is my main phone and I use this one for most of the times. So let me now show you the case. So this one is a silicon case. I bought this one for $4. This one comes really cheap from the China and I ordered this one from China from the app that I will show you um, in some mi minutes. So next we have a camera lens, some kind of a camera protection on the lens that will protect your iPhone and this one is the best protection I've seen so far. You may take a look at it closely. So this one is a really nice one and it makes like it, it makes my iPhone look better, you know, it, when it was when it was black, all black, so it was looking better but right now I think it's fine but it's you know it's better to have your camera protected than unprotected I think so now let me show you some of the apps that I use so on the first page we got some education apps I'm not gonna be talking about all of these stock apps that I have on my iPhone because you are familiar with them already but if you go to the education folder you'll see that it's all connected to my university so these apps are specifically for my university for productivity there so the first one is a uh, translator. This is a lingua translator. I can translate to some different languages and this is an offline translator. So next we have a scannable. This uh, application allows you to scan some pages and then export it to PDF file or any other file and share it with your friends. So this comes really handy when, for example, yesterday I scanned my friend's uh, file and I sent it to him just right away. So it was really simple. So next we have Zasser. This is a printing service. We got some kind of a machine or huge printer in our dormitory, so we can print just for free, but they offer some print, yeah, printing pages with some advertisements. So it's not like free, you know, you have to uh, be shown an advertisement for, for that. So next we have this application. I know you cannot pronounce it right now, but still, this is my school schedule. So there I have all of my lessons, laboratory classes, lectures, and everything else. So. I know when exactly do I got it and if somebody something is changing in our schedule it will be changed there all also. So next we have Outlook. This is a mail client. Uh, also for school we have we do have some Microsoft accounts from our school and we have to use Outlook. I think this is the best app for that. So now coming from the top to the bottom we have a Mifid application here which is done specifically for that exact bracelet that you see in here. This is a Xiaomi Mi Band uh, bracelet which is really really nice one and it can track your daily activity, how many steps did you take and also how many hours did you sleep. Also show you uh, some incoming calls and vibrate while you're having some calls and also set up some alarms and you will be able to uh, wake up with this bracelet which is just a nice vibration like it's not like an Apple Watch, but a really, really nice one. And I do really recommend you guys buying this one, this uh, bracelet in here. If you want me to make a video on top tech that I use, please say it in the comments down below. And I will know about it, so I will make that video if you want. So now on the dock we have a Google Apps and let's launch this folder and see we have every app sorted by the developer which is Google. Now we have the Drive as the first one, YouTube, you already know this ones. Really interesting one is a studio which helps me track, uh, keep track of my channel. I know how many likes did I get on a specific date, how many subscribers did I get and everything about my channel. They have more than 50 stats on your channel so it's really nicely. Uh, made so I really recommend this one for all of the youtubers out there So next we have Google Maps. You already know this one capture I'm not gonna talk about this one because I don't really use this one in the past I used to use this one, but now I don't so I'll probably delete this one next we have docs and sheets These are apps for uh, Microsoft Word documents and Excel files next is the my uh, G Gmail so this is a my mail uh, stock mail client here I use this one for uh, my mail and I don't use any other services. I'm only registered at the Google, so I don't I don't use any other service. Next is a translate. Um, you know this one also. 
and here we have a Gboard. So finally, <laughs> I want to speak a bit, a bit about this app. So we do get this one in only English language. Unfortunately, I do not use this one, but I'm just waiting until they will add some more support to other languages because, you know, guys, I don't speak just one language. I speak maybe four languages and I need more languages in that because I have to chat with my friends somehow, but they only offer English for now. But anyway, this is the most recommended app by me so far and I think this is the future of the keyboards. They have not only emojis, but also some, um, what are those called, GIFs? Yeah, those are GIFs, GIFs, I don't know how to pronounce it, this one correctly, but you know this, I can load this one and maybe show you how that works, but I'll probably know, but anyway, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna know this one, or uh, be, or if you're interested in this one, make sure to download this one and install it as your main keyboard because this one is the best so far. And here comes the social media applications. So I got a plenty of them, uh, but I don't use most of them in that regularly. But I do have some Messenger and Facebook. Don't like these ones, but anyway, I wish. Facebook, if you Facebook guys, if you're now watching this video, please stick those two applications into one because it's like impossible to use it. When I want to chat with my friends and still looking through Facebook, it's impossible. Guys, please just merge these two applications. It's gonna be really useful and really nice. So I will use this one even more regularly. But anyway, guys, we have Periscope then. Periscope is for online streams from uh, lots of different places. Sometimes I do watch some streams for out there from some people. And yeah, so this one is also a recommended app from me. Now we have a VK specifically for my friends in one country. Uh, they do not speak English, but I have to speak any other language with them. Then we have Twitter. You may check out our page at Twitter. This is Tech Labs UHD, if I'm not mistaken. So we can open this up and I will show you how uh, how do we how do we look like so now yeah tech labs uag you may follow us right here and there is going to be um updates about our videos so that's really cool next we have skype telegram is uh, also for my probably university i do really use this one when doing some project at the university and i can share files from my macbook from my uh, computer from my uh, tablet from here so it comes really handy this is the best messenger I've seen so far. So now Viber for uh, um, for an international calls, and then Instagram. You know this already. Now we have Followers Plus. Uh, yeah, I haven't used this one for a while, but you will be able to track your activity in Instagram in that application. But I will probably delete this one because I don't really care about Instagram right now. Then we have Layout. Never actually used this one, but I wanted to try this one, but never used. Boomerang is when you are capturing a video and then it is uh, shown you in um, reverse order. And finally, we have the repost app in here. So this one is useful when you're trying to repost some picture from your friend. So uh, in case you're trying to repost some picture from your friends, it will add some kind of a label to its bottom side and say from which exact person did you do this repost. So your friends wouldn't be like, oh, you have stolen my picture, you are a stealer or you're trying to copy me. So this will not happen at all because there would be a sign or a logging or a name of that specific person that you have taken the picture from. Okay guys, so it's done with this page. We can scroll now to the other page and I will show you here which apps do I use. So now we have this QR reader as the first one. Sometimes I do really scan some kind of a QR uh, codes and yeah, I think it's normal to have that kind of application on your phone because it's like less than 40 megabytes, I think. So is that not, it's not much. So now, now we have Steam. I do play some games like Counter-Strike, Minecraft Story Mode, Garris Mode and other apps. So sometimes I have to log in through that application or, you know, for security purposes, I got in, in here. Masquerade, this one is a really nice one and I recommend you guys downloading this for your iPhone. So let me show you just in a second. Okay, so now guys, we're in the application. As you can see here, we have lots of different masks that can adapt to your face lively. So you can, you know, when I'm talking, this guy is also talking, so these masks is like your face, so you're, they are becoming your face and trying to be you. So now we have a huge catalog of those masks. We can go here and select from animals to emotions, so like lots of lots of different masks. You may check this out, I'm gonna have the link in the description so you will find it really easily. 
So now let's move on to the team viewer. This is a remote, a remote desktop client. I will be able to connect to my Mac via my iPhone and using this specific app. So this one is pretty nice, I think, and also weights not more than maybe 200 megabytes. So that's fine. So now we have finance. Those are specific apps for my financial activity. We have a Kiwi, and then PayPal, you know this one, and Private24, which is my bank. Uh, so I can do some kind of operations to it there. Then we have Shazam. Shazam is for recognizing which music is playing lively. So you probably also know this one. Then uh, Geekbench, when we guys try testing new frameworks and comparing these frameworks to the previous ones, which is the best application for that. I think this one is the number one. So next we have money application, which is all about your financial activity, like you are uh, earning some money here, you can specify how much and then you go shopping and here you will be able also to specify uh, how much did you spend on specific shopping. So it's that simple, you will be able to track all of your activity in here in lots of different currencies and now I have it set up to my main currency here in that country, but you will be able to select dollars, euros and every other currency. Those, this one is a free one so you'll be able to download it just fine. So now we have the AliExpress where I got this case, the silicon case for $4 from. They have a uh, lots of different uh, goods and products available in China and if you are able to pay for the um, for the delivery, but usually delivery is just zero to my country. If it's like 30 days or 60 days, it's going to be free, but they have uh, lots of different products from China, really, really cheap. Uh, next we have the uh, Vis Air. This is a company for uh, flights, a flight kind of a, uh, for my, yeah, for my flights. So I do really love traveling sometimes and I have to travel to my main country to another country. So I use this one. These are, they, they are offering a really cheap flight uh, from one country to another. So this one is a low cost airlines. So now we have a roll world. So this one specifically for maybe landscapes. So let me launch this one and show you guys how that works. Uh, it's also f should be a free app if I'm not mistaken. So now click here, click here. And now it should be so look at my finger right now. It's like, wow, that is so twisted or <laughs> I know. I don't know, guys, what's happening right now, but it's like rolling the whole uh, rolling of yeah, rolling the whole uh, image just in circle. Next is the OLXPL. It so looks like in eBay, but it's specifically in that country. So it's really nice to have deals with some people, especially when buying a uh, before used tech. So I do really love buying that. And um, yeah, so it looks like the eBay and the best alternative to that is eBay. So next we have games. I do really like playing games. Uh, we have my favorite, favorite titles like Minecraft. Then Agario. This is the best game so far. And Flippy Bird. So those are my favorite three games. So now we have a folder of some uh, Apple, Apple apps. So I don't usually use these ones. Next we have utilities. These are for this one is for testing specifically my connection between the internet and my device. Now we have VPN master when I can fake my location or say I am in Germany but I'm in just in different countries. So it's really a nice one. Now we have performance apps like Keynote, Pages and Numbers. Those are stock apps. I think you know all about them. Uh, those are like uh, Apple's alternative to Microsoft World. Uh, or, sorry, Word <laughs> and uh, Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint. So those are just alternatives. Next we have Extras. Those are, yeah, those are also stock apps. I'm not going to talk about them. And finally, the left lifestyle. <laughs> well, yeah, we got come, uh, some kind of a coupons here from KFC, as you can tell, and my McDonald's and Secret Free. So Secret Free is a Starbucks app. It's not an official Starbucks app, but made some some from some guy. And um, they, there we have lots of recipes for uh, secret drinks. So like uh, yesterday, I've seen a really nice drink from Ariana Grande Frappe. So you may, or this is a recipe how you can order this uh, kind of drink from Starbucks. Um, really, really nice app. You may share and submit your personal uh, personal drinks that you made. So next we have uh, jailbreak alternatives. So I want to stop on that section and talk about this. Uh, in depth. So now we have Xcedia. I'm gonna have the link in the description for Xcedia how to install it. This is an online store for downloaded uh, for downloading free apps. 
uh, paid apps for free. Sorry. Next we have a I don't know how it's called, guys, but car. I, I let, let me call it this Rabbit. So Rabbit is another um, kind of store from the internet to download also paid apps for free. And I have Movie Box for uh, offline uh, movie. Uh, experience so we can uh, download some movies there in the movie box play box is the same as a movie box but you can watch those movies online without downloading them onto your device if you don't have for example storage on your device that's my best choice <laughs> so next we have uh, also another s store that i've shown you before and you know guys for all of those uh, for all of those stores i'm gonna have the link in the description so you may find or check out those methods how you can install paid apps for free if you haven't already and finally we have the x cleaner here which is a normal cleaner you can see how much how many memory do you have on your um on your device right now and also the there is a storage cleaner which cleans like maybe instagram cache or facebook cache but you know caches are not that important i didn't know in the past how to clean those ones but with this app can actually clean those those terrible and disastrous caches that I have on the app, specific apps. So it's really, really nice. And finally, these are three different apps. VLC Player is my kind of alternative to the movie box and the play box. Unfortunately, you cannot watch movies directly, directly from there, but uh, you will be able to import some movies to this player and then watch it offline. So looks like that. And next we have Maps.me, this is for traveling specifically, or if you have no internet connection, you may download an offline map, and via GPS technology you will be able to track your um, your location in the specific building or in the street, so you'll not get lost on uh, in, in another country. And finally we have the Music DL, so this one is also from, if I'm not mistaken, is from XCDS Store, and we have there some music. Uh, I know it's a pirate music, but still, I love listening to music. I don't have much there. So this one is a kind of nice app, and I do really recommend you guys this one. And you may find this in an Xcedia and download this one with no problem. So there you have it guys, that's all of the apps that I use on my iPhone. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button and also please subscribe to my channel because I really, really need your support guys. We're now heading to 1000 subscribers and if you could subscribe to my channel right now, it's going to be super awesome. We're going to be doing so many cool stuff in the future, I promise, it's going to be really awesome. But for now guys, please check out my other videos, they're really, really interesting. And this was Alex with you from Tech Labs and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.